morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or your prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you have a success story you'd like to share, I'd love to hear that. And also, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about the longevity products, formulation, skincare, ingredients, something you may have heard about or read about, we can help you. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head to brightsideben.com. Or you can check out my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products directly from the website. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you want to start yourself a longevity business and help sell, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money selling longevity products, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and now criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, made with a big old dose, 25% fat-soluble, lipophilic, premium vitamin C, no preservatives, no fragrances, no waxes, no emulsifiers, nothing your skin doesn't need. That's how I formulate my Truth Treatment products. You know, the vast majority of a skincare product is made up of things that your skin doesn't need. The vast majority of most skincare products is made up of components that are there to help a manufacturer sell you the product. Preservatives and fillers and waxes and emulsifiers and surfactants and chemicals that your skin doesn't need, the manufacturer needs it. But you're never gonna find these kinds of ingredients in our truth treatment products. That's why I call the products the truth. It's all you need. You don't need acetyl alcohol, glycerol monosterate, parabens, diazolidinyl urea. I used to wear a mask when I had to use those kinds of ingredients in my formulations. When I had to put preservatives in my, uh, in my formulations, and sometimes I had to do it, unfortunately, I wore a mask, yet we rubbed this stuff on our skin. Anyway, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk about skin. We're going to talk a lot about skin health here in the next few weeks. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking hormones, hormone health. Hormones are the unifying elements in the body. The body's made up of 100 trillion individual components, and hormones are the unifying element. It pulls everything together. The body is a coherent whole under the, under the control of the hormone system. Hormones are made in glands, gland cells specifically. So when we talk about our glands, we're really talking about gland cells. When we talk about the thyroid gland, we're really talking about thyroid gland cells. And fascinatingly, these thyroid gland cells or pancreas gland cells or adrenal gland cells somehow or another know how to make hormones. They know how to produce these chemicals out of the cells. And some of them will produce 60 different hormones. 
well, maybe not that many, but certainly 20 different hormones from your adrenal glands. One adrenal gland cell is capable of making a dozen, two dozen different hormones. It's an amazing idea when you think about it. How can one little cell that's one one hundredth the size of a head of a pin, how can it have the intelligence to know whether to produce cortisol or adrenaline or, or estrogen or testosterone or progesterone? Yet it does. This is an amazing, amazing idea. And this is what I talk about when I talk about the miracle that is us, the miracle that is the human body. We should be so blown away by what we are. Yet the only time we think about our glands and our hormones and our cells and our bodies is when we're sick, when we're healthy, when we're strong, when we're vital. That's when we should be thinking and, and praising and thanking our cellular system, our glandular systems, our tissue systems, the divine force that runs our bodies. So you got hormones made in gland cells. You've got glands that secrete hormones into the digestive system and through the skin. We call those exocrine glands. You've got glands that secrete hormones into the blood. We call them endocrine glands. The endocrine glands are the ones we talk about all the time. So what is it that makes something a gland? Well, a gland is just an amazing structure that's made up of gland tissue, which is made up of gland cells. And perhaps, I think anyway, these gland cells are the most interesting cells in the gland tissue is the most interesting tissue in the body. Gland cells secrete hormones, which as we said yesterday, along with enzymes, are the most functional chemicals in the body. You've got the enzymes and the hormones. The enzymes do the work, the hormones turn on the enzymes. Hormones are what allows the body, which is made up of independent units, a hundred trillion independent units, mind boggling, a hundred trillion independent, conscious little animals, if you will. We call them cells and the hormones integrate the whole shebang. They integrate everything. Via the activity of the hormones, these 100 trillion components, cells of the body, are weaved into one coherent, uniform whole. And this makes our hormones like an underlying fabric that unifies the whole system. And it's all under the control of headquarters, literally headquarters, the, a brain which is quartered in the head. The major hormones, as we said, are the endocrine hormones, and they're produced in the endocrine glands. These hormones, these endocrine hormones, are, they go into the blood, they travel through the blood. These are what we think of when most of us think of hormones. We're talking about our endocrine hormones. Now, as I said, however, you have exocrine hormones as well. Pheromones are one of the classic ex uh, exocrine hormones. Pheromones are basically how we communicate to each other uh, in, in terms of issues around fertility and around attraction, also around fear and around anger. You ever notice how dogs and animals in general can smell fear? We say they smell fear. What are we talking about? They're smelling pheromones. Pheromones, P-H-E-R, not pheromones, F-E-A-R, pheromones. Pheromones of fear, pheromones of love, pheromones of attraction, pheromones of repulsion. All of these are how animals can tell, how animals can tell if you're scared or animals can tell if you're safe. They're sensing pheromones. Ants will drop little pheromone chemicals to tell other ants where the food is. And human beings use pheromones mostly for attraction or, or largely for attraction for sex. There's actually pheromone sprays you can get. I, periodically I'll have somebody ask me if I can make a pheromone spray or make a pheromone skin product. Perfumes are supposed to duplicate pheromones. These are exocrine hormones, your pheromones. They're secreted outside the body. You also have hormones that are secreted from a cell to, a, to another cell or sometimes from a cell to itself. A cell will actually secrete a hormone, and then that hormone will boomerang back and activate the cell itself. That's called an autocrine hormone. But by far and away, and the one, uh, ones we're going to talk about, and the most important ones by far, are the endocrine hormones. And at any given moment, you've got an endless stream of endocrine hormones surging through the blood, packing your, circul your circulatory system like, like uh, uh, cars on a rush hour freeway. It's actually pretty miraculous when you think about how this whole thing works. It starts off in the brain, and then the brain starts to communicate to all the different glands, and all the different glands pr produce hormones, and the body's activities via the enzymes ensues. All right, hang tight. I gotta, we're going to talk about the spiritual nature of hormones when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We're back. 
back on The Bright Side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. Both have search engines. If you miss a program or you want to search a particular subject matter, there are, you can go to benfuchsarchives.com or brightsideben.com. There are search engines up on both sites. You can also check out my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. We update both regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you, John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren for setting those up and maintaining them as well. If you're interested in purchasing Longevity products, you can do those. You can do that right off, uh, right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Likewise, if you'd like to if you'd like to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the phone team also at 866-735-2470. Our number today, 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, skin health, ingredients, formulations, success story you want to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a moment. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll get your calls in our next segment. So we're talking uh, hormones, hormone health, and there is a very important relationship between spirituality and hormone health, and this is not just Boulder, Colorado, airy-fairy hippie talk either. It's actually now considered to be scientific. There's a book called The Scientific Basis of Integrative Medicine. It's a textbook, one of the, one of the first books, textbooks that I've seen, that actually talks about what they call subtle energy medicine in a technical way, in a scientific way, using studies and peer-reviewed studies and, um, and, and various articles. The first chapter in the scientific basis of integrative medicine talks about hormones and the electrical nature of the body, and then later chapters talk about literally about the connection between the chakras and spirituality and hormone health, especially when, as it regards the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, amazing glands. In fact, we talk, before we went to break, we were talking about how the hormones integrate the entire body. Well, the hormones that come out of the pineal gland and the pituitary gland in our head regulate all the other hormones. This is so cool because throughout history, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland have been considered spiritual glands. The, the third eye, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland make up what's called the third eye. How cool is that? You know, if you put your, if you put your finger right where a third eye would be between your two eyes in the middle of your head, you'll actually be pointing right at your pituitary gland. And if you put your finger on the top and then put your finger right between your eyes or in your brow area where your third eye would be, and then your finger on the top of your head about the middle where those two fingers meet, if you can imagine energy coming from the, from the finger that's pointing in your forehead and energy coming from the finger that's pointing in the middle of, your, of the top of your head, if you can picture energy coming from both those fingers right where they meet is where your pineal gland is. How do the ancient people understand this? I should also tell you that because the endocrine hormone depends on the blood highway, if you got dirty blood, you're going to have a hormone problem, period. And you can take all the estrogen replacement therapy and hormone replacement therapy you want, and your, your brilliant doctor will probably prescribe estrogen or estradiol or, or even progesterone, not recognizing that if you have dirty blood, it's not going to help. It could even make matters worse. Remember, all disease is cell disease, and behind cell disease is always going to be dirty blood. This is the core of our disease and breakdown process. Our blood gets dirty because the endocrine system, the hormone system that that dumps hormones into the blood depends on a smooth, clear blood highway to deliver hormones. If you got dirty blood from a digestive problem or a blood sugar problem or long-standing issues with oxygenation of the blood, you're going to have a hormone problem and your hormone replacement therapy isn't going to do you any good. In fact, it can make matters worse because you may not break down those hormones as effectively and they can build up and then you can end up into to with toxicity. This is where the association between estrogen and cancer show up, between hormone replacement therapy and cancer show up. You can't just take hormones, folks. Especially once you understand that the blood, that the hormones depend on the blood for their delivery. You're much better off cleaning the blood than you are getting on hormone replacement. Also because hormones depend on healthy cells for their activity, especially the cell membrane, as we'll talk 